Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Fuse here, and welcome back to another chair reaction. And today, I am going to be doing a chair reaction to Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire. Wow, I mean, we're getting a lot from a lot of great Godzilla content this year, and especially lately. I mean, first we got Monarch Legacy of Monsters, which may not be a perfect show, but it is a it is great. I mean, damn great. And we and even got um, Godzilla minus one, which I heard is a masterpiece and the greatest Godzilla movie ever. Uh, some even going as far as saying it dethrones the dethroned the nineteen fifties version of it. Uh, yeah, but now we're getting this trailer right here, and yeah, um, let's check this one out in three, two, one, play. Cool. I'm already loving the music. Legendary. Haven't seen a legendary movie in a while, by the way. Mm. Most of human civilization. Okay. It, looks, it already looks very different from the other films of the Monster Girls. On the surface of our planet. Ooh, I'm getting transformed. I got transformers right from that. I know that was called though. Were we wrong about? 2024. Ooh, ooh, the visuals look amazing. Wow. Let's come. This world has more secrets. Oh, the, the same world from uh, Gaza. Wait, is that Cypher? Is that, is that Charlie's Theron? Oh. oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god. I'm getting seriously I'm seriously getting Plan of the Apes vibes. That's not common. Who could have done this? Yeah, I'm literally getting Plan of the Apes vibes. Oh a new a new evil um This is amazing. Uh, okay, Brian Tree Henry, um, full of from his films. Yeah, the, the best uh, character. Probably gonna be the best character in this movie without uh, Millie Bobby Brown in it. Whoa, CGI. Whoa, Godzilla has never looked better than ever. Nothing alive. Oh. He looks terrifying. Ooh. Oh, God, is that a call running? Ooh. Yes. Welcome to my world. God's a gone and human empire. Wow. I liked it. Oh. Uh -huh. So cute. Film War Max. Okay, so that was my chair reaction for Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. And I gotta say, well, as expected, that was an awesome trailer. Is this is this enough for me to be to uh place this in my most anticipated movies of 2024 list? No, but it is it does get an honorable mention. Yeah, I gotta say though, um, the Godzilla and Kong stuff are amazing. I mean, looks like we're actually getting a legit team up, and we saw Godzilla and Kong team up in uh, Godzilla vs Kong when they uh, teamed up together to defeat uh, Mecha Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, um, and and yeah, now we're seeing them like become a team. This is still Kong's movie. I I, I can tell, even though. Uh, it, just like Godzilla vs. Kong, um, despite, you know, Godzilla and Kong, despite the Godzilla um, and Kong, you know, um, the, in the title, Godzilla being mentioned first before Kong, it, it's, it felt like Kong's movie. And, and in this one, um, it, this one, again, Godzilla being mentioned first before Kong, but, but it, lo it looks like the story is about Kong. I mean, why can't you just call it Kong x Godzilla for, for some reason? But, oh well, uh, Maybe it's, it's just a lot more comfortable to mention Godzilla first before Kong, but honestly, that doesn't matter. 
I mean, it's still a Kong's movie, and this looks very different from from all the other uh, uh, monster verse movies you've seen. I mean, this gives me vibes of um, Planet of the Apes. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm of course. Well, I'm more excited for I'm way more excited for Kingdom of the Planet Planet of the Apes when it comes to comparing the ape movies of uh, 2024. But yeah, this one looks awesome. Um, this one looks awesome. I'm still. I mean. I love, I mean, the, this, the visuals and CGI have never been better, I mean, Godzilla looks amazing, uh, Godzilla look, looks amazing, um, like, especially with all, you know, that purple stuff in him, no, that pink stuff, wow, yeah, I, I remember back when, in my childhood, pink was my favorite color, no joke, yeah, I know, that makes me look gay, but I don't care, I, I love pink, I mean, I wear a lot, I have a lot of pink shoes. It's been my favorite color now. No, not really, but I. But it was my favorite color as a child. I, I don't know why. Maybe because I always wanted to see myself as a girl for some reason. But okay, sorry, going off topic. I'm just saying, I just love seeing it. I mean, I know I'm going off topic, but the point I'm trying to make is I just love seeing pink. And seeing Godzilla just turn pink, wow. Um, and Kong, <coughs> even as seat this time. Yeah, I love the new um, ape world that, that, that they go to that they go to um it looks really good um the the new villain like he reminds me of koba from dawn of the planet of the Apes for some reason like like he gives me he gives me koba vibes except uh giant uh, so yeah um and yeah although yeah I, I i do have a few concerns about the movie yeah yeah actually remember when i said like oh is that charlie Starren? i actually just realized that um I actually just realized that was actually Rebecca Hall's character from uh, the from Godzilla vs Kong, um, Godzilla vs Kong, um, and yeah, um, yeah, she had that like you know haircut which makes her makes her look like look like Cipher. I am get real honest with you, you all. I don't. I do not like that haircut. I think she looks really bad. I mean seriously. I I I can guarantee this is probably the same guys who did the makeup and hairstyling. Um. For Charlie Stanton's character for Cypher in F9. They're doing the same thing here, same thing here, and seriously, they need to stop making women look like that. Just seriously. Like, stop with that hair, hideous uh, hairstyle. I, I hate it. Uh, yeah, I mean, she looks way too. We look so different from Godzilla vs. Kong. And I loved her looking Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, I feel like the characters are, are gonna be a bunch of nobodies again. Like, they're gonna. Made the characters look forgettable and useless, just like uh, in, just like the typical monster first. Uh, I mean, I think that G looks like Gia, the the one of the standouts in Godzilla vs Kong, the you know, you know the the deaf child. I think she's going to be um, a standout uh, in this movie. She's going to be like the one great uh, human character, and without Millie Bobby Brown in this one, yeah, I think she's she's going to be the best character. And speaking of Millie Bobby Brown, man, I am disappointed that. Uh, Madison is no longer going to be in this one, um, and also you know Kyle Chandler's character too. I know people hate both characters, uh, but I mean they deserve to be in this movie too. I mean, maybe maybe I am guessing it's maybe Bobby Brown is not in this one because because uh, of her schedule with because uh, she's busy with uh, um, Stranger Things season five. So I can totally see that, but. I mean, I like Madison Russell. Um, I I think she's she's easily by far the best character in the MonsterVerse. Uh, um, and hot take, but I I like I prefer in Godzilla vs Kong than her in King of Monsters. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I mean, I I totally get that. Uh, and, and I totally get see why people say Kyle Chandler's character is annoying, but I don't find him annoying at all. I I I like his character. I don't love his character, but I kind of liked it. So yeah. Um. So yeah, um, I guess that's all I have to say. This is probably my second most anticipated movie. Um, this is definitely one of, one of my more anticipated movies of uh, April 2024, but um, I would say probably third, I guess. Uh, wait, is there? Oh yeah, third. Uh, my two, two movies that comes out in April that I'm, I'm more excited for than this one are Challengers, which is my most anticipated movie of that month, and uh, the untitled Radio Silence uh, m monster movie with uh, Nessa Barrera um, and Catherine Newton.
But this one, yeah, definitely right up there. And I'm definitely seeing this in theaters. I might even take my friends to see it because I, I, have, I have a lot of, I have a group of friends who are uh, massive uh, MonsterVerse fans, like massive Godzilla fans. So that's all for my uh, true reaction for um, for Godzilla X Kong. Um, are you excited for this movie or are you not excited for it? Uh, oh, yeah, and, and by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, I don't, I, I highly doubt this will top uh, Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla King of the Monsters, but damn sure I know this will be will be way better than Godzilla 2014 and Kong Skull Island, so yeah. Comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for uh, more views to come. I don't know what my next video is. Oh yeah, I know what my next video is. Uh, my next video is going to be, well, you. I won't say right now, just in case I change stuff, but yeah, anyways. Bye, guys.